recently, freemanismab under the trade name Ajovi was approved by the FDA for the preventive treatment of migraine in adults. Uh, the study showed a reduction in both migraine days and headache days, uh, and, and so we've, we've seen that in both chronic migraine and episodic migraine patients. Uh, the presentations that we have at this meeting uh, are looking at chronic migraine patients and specifically subsets of chronic migraine. We look at medication overuse headache patients. Uh, we wanted to see patients uh, who had chronic migraine if they could revert to an episodic migraine diagnosis by the end of the trial. Uh, and we also looked at the long-term impact of freemanizumab or Jovi on uh, chronic migraine. Uh, what we found was uh, in the long-term study, uh, we had an increase in the number of patients responding over time. So by the time we get out to 12 months in the long-term study, about 50 to 60 percent of chronic migraine patients are seeing a 50 percent reduction in migraine days or headache days of at least moderate severity. We found that in the, in the chronic migraine blinded study, that patients who began with a diagnosis of chronic migraine having 15 headache days or more a month, in the three months of the trial had less than 15 headache days per month. Uh, so we call that reversion to episodic migraine. A and we saw that in a higher percentage of patients who were on treatment than those in the placebo arm. About 30 to 40 percent of patients on treatment were able to achieve that reversion from chronic migraine to episodic migraine. I think what's really important is looking at uh, other features of migraine that are also affected. Uh, so not just the headache and migraine days, which are very important, but also the other symptoms like nausea and vomiting, photo and phonophobia, uh, and we've seen significant reductions in those symptoms as well with patients on freemanizumab. Uh, as well as some of the comorbidities. So here we're looking at medication overuse headache. We've also done analyses looking at depression and seen not only that patients with comorbid depression can have an improvement in their migraine and headache days, but also that they see a decrease in their depression uh, over time with treatment as well. Uh, so there's a greater impact beyond just the headache attacks themselves that are really important, I think, for migraine patients. Uh, another thing that we're presenting at this meeting is also the impact on quality of life. Uh, because I think that also goes outside of just the migraine and headache days themselves and how migraine is impacting patients over time. We've seen a significant reduction in disability as measured by either the MINUS or HIT-6 score, uh, as well as an improvement in quality of life as measured by the migraine-specific quality of life measure.